Hi everyone, May Borak here. Today we're going to learn one of the most important lessons in day trading on how to use the level 2 or the market depth window in a way that will help you make decisions where to buy, where to sell, how to take your profits. This is going to be done today and with a live example of LCID. Let's take a look at LCID first. As you can see, the stock is down 12%. It tries to move higher, but it's supposed to come down because it's supposed to be a gap and go. That's another lesson. But normally you expect a failure. When the stock is down more than 3%, you expect it to try and move higher. You expect it to fail and then crash down. But again, we're going to make a lesson about that. So I'm expecting it to come down and I'm about to short 8,000 shares because I expect it to continue moving lower. Right at this point, now I'm shorting 8,000 shares. That's a classic gap and go. And again, take a look now. We're going to take a look at the level two and try and figure out what uh, what should we do at what points. Now, I just talked about the chart now. I just talked about the fact that the chart should come down and it should move under the laws. But now let's take a look at the level two. The level two data or the market depth data on the left side, you can see the buyers 865 right now and the sellers are on the right side 866 and 865. Now take a look at the numbers. These are extremely important. Now I'm going to pause it a, a little bit. There is a big seller. I just paused it of 45,000 shares. which just showed up for one second on the seller size. I just paused the video so you can see that one second 45,000 shares, which I couldn't see earlier. Now at this point, I know somebody's hiding quantity. I'm back to the live trading. And now because of this big seller and because we are very, getting very close to the lows, I will add, I will double my size. I just saw a clue that somebody is hiding the quantity. So that was the first lesson about level two and market depth. So right now I'm adding another 8,000 shares. I'm short 16,000 shares and I'm expecting a breakdown. Now this whole data came from just one person, whoever that person was, who just showed me a size that he was not supposed to show because normally they will be hiding this size. Now it's touching the laws as you can see here and moving under the laws exactly like anticipated. The stock is doing exactly what I wanted it to do, which is a gap and go. And now I've got a double size. Now again, watch the buyers, watch the sellers. On the left side, you can see that the buyers are at 853, now 852. Sellers are at 853. Watch the numbers. Watch how many sellers you have and how many buyers. Now again, stock is moving down under the lows. It is looking great. I'm going to fast forward it so you can see what happened there. These are one minute candles and it's going sideways and soon you will see that it found some support at the 850. This is a semi whole number as we call it and look at the number of support that it has there. 336,000 shares on the buy side of the lows. Now does that mean that because we have less sellers, you can see 851, we've got 50,000 shares. Does that mean that it's going to move up? Not necessarily. It only means that it's going to move up if the number of sellers is going to come down. Now the number of sellers is 50,000 shares. So make sure it's not coming down. Just keep watching the sellers. Watch the sellers they are at 50, 40. Now this is becoming some kind of concern. I don't want to see it coming down, still holding to 50. That's okay. But I will get to the point where I will be ready to cover my short, which means buy. Now 40,000 shares, that's a, that, that's a risk. It just came down, 10,000 shares. I'm getting ready. You see it, my, my finger is on the buy button here where I'm going to cover. Now it's moving up again, 60,000. That's good. I'm relaxed. At this point, I'm relaxed again. Now again, a lot of buyers, 340,000 and not so many sellers. Now that's a concern of course, but it will become a big concern only if the number of 60 or whatever it is right now is going to come down under let's say 20. Remember I have 16,000 shares to buy. So I'm watching the buyers and the sellers, 60, 70,000 on the selling side. Now watch the buyers, you're going to see them dropping right now very quickly. So they're about to drop, you can still see them. Now they move from 300,000 to 70,000, it's about to crash. Now you know that it's about to crash. 90,000 sellers, 70 something thousand buyers shares of course. So take a look at the numbers right now and you can see that it's still holding over 850. It's just that the number changed. The 300,000 are out. Now where they sold? We're going to take a look at that real soon. We're going to take a look at if, if the executions really happen. This is 
again, very, very important. Again, number of sellers, 90,000, and now we came down. So we just came down under 850. This was my expectation that is going to happen. The number of sellers actually outweigh the number of buyers and now we are under the lows. So the breakdown finally happened, you can see here in the chart, and I'm, now I'm expecting a continued move. But again, I'm with my finger on the button expecting to buy if it's going to pop up. Now again, a replay. Watch the number of buyers at 300,000. Now watch the watch the, the left side, there's one execution of 20,000 shares, but now you see nothing. The number came down from 300,000 buyers to 70,000 without any executions. Again, this is a replay of what happened earlier. I just replayed what happened there. Now you can see that we're still over 850. This is before the breakdown. We just came to 70,000 shares. Maybe you should replay this video again on your computer so you can see that more clearly. But now you can see, again, we did not yet break down under 850 and the executions are just 100 shares, 1,000 shares or so. You couldn't see the 300,000 shares, just one execution of 20,000 and that's it. That's it. Now we're still coming down. Now we're under the lows. Now take a good look at the buyers and the sellers. As I just showed you, it is extremely important not just to watch the buyers and the sellers. It's also important to see whether there are executions at all. So when I watch the time and sale, I could definitely see there were not real buyers. Somebody just posted a number. Somebody just posted 300,000 shares. He wanted to scare away the sellers. But when he saw that it's about to break or he was thinking that it is about to break, he just canceled the orders. He was showing you he wants to buy. He was trying to shake you out, get you away of the trade. And then he was just gone. Once this big buyer was gone, we could have seen that the Finally, we broke down under 850. So again, this is something you should know once you watch the buyers and sellers. Now let's watch it right now and try to figure out what's going to happen next. So first lesson, people are not showing you the right quantity that they really want to trade. We, it started with the 45,000 shares that we've seen earlier and gave me the understanding that the seller doesn't want to show you how many he wants to sell because he doesn't want someone on the other side to buy. There was a big seller, he was hiding this quantity because the stock was not yet at the point where it's about to break down. So he was concerned, he didn't want to show that he has a lot of quantity. In the second time, the buyer wanted you to see that he has a large quantity which was not true. He was hiding, he was actually showing a number expecting you to run away and hoping that the stock will actually move higher. And once the buyer was not sure anymore, it just dropped the number. The sellers become, became more aggressive because they didn't see the big buyer at uh, 850. And that's it. Stock came down. Now take a look at what, hap at what happens now. Look at the sellers. 833, 76,000 shares. 832, 43. More sellers than buyers, which means it's supposed to come down. So again, I'm watching at all times, trying to figure out. I just reached my target here. I'm up $4,800, as you can see. I'm in profit and I'm getting to the point where at any pullback, I will like to take my profit. I will like to take my profit. As you can see, I'm getting ready here to take a profit of 15,000 shares. And now I'm watching the buyers and the sellers. So on the seller side now, 46,000 shares, 832 buyers, 16,831, which means it's likely to come down. But of course, at all times, you should look at the seller side and you can see that we are close to 50,000 shares, which means it's holding. It's holding with the pressure to the downside. If this number is going to come down under 40 and then under 30 and then possibly under 20,000, I will be concerned that we will have a pullback. And I don't want to get to the point where we're going to have a pullback without taking my profits. So at this point, I'm getting ready to take a profit at any sign of pullback. So I'm watching both the sellers and the buyers at all times very, very closely. Now, I would find myself when I'm trading, and you should do this, the same, watching the level two data more than I watch the chart, especially at the point where I want to get into a trade. If I'm trying to buy a stock, to short a stock, to take my profits, 
I will watch it more than I will watch the chart because all the data is here. On the left side, I have the time and sales. On the right side here, I've got the buyers and the sellers. That's just all the information I need. I watch the chart. I know what's going on. But at this point, I need to concentrate on the numbers so right now I'm just watching that I'm not watching the chart not at all watch the sellers 74,000 shares 76,000 shares at 831 buyers 105 I'm concerned so I'm, I'm, I'm I think maybe this is the point where I should take my partial so I'm waiting to see what is the balance so sellers remain at 90,000 buyers just came down to 9,000 so all is okay I was concerned but at the end sellers came up and buyers came a little bit down. So we had a lot of buyers now. Th that does make me concerned again because I had we had too many buyers at one point there. But we came down again. Now sellers at 830, 70,000 shares. Buyers 13,000. That's good. We're going to see a new low. So again, watch the buyers, watch the sellers at all times and try and figure out if we're going to continue coming down. If you feel like there is a chance that it's going to move higher, maybe two or three cents, just take your partial. That's it. Now again, 99, 100,000 sellers, 2,000 buyers. That's it. We're going to come down again. 100,000. Again, 830. Buyers, not so many. We're supposed to come down another cent and we just did. It's 828 now on the buying side. 20,000 shares on the sellers, 60,000. But now we're popping up. Now, I didn't, this pop-up that you're seeing here, you can also see it on the chart here, just happened too quickly. So I, I did not manage to take my partial. I just didn't realize what happened there at the second. Uh, but now it came down again, a few more cents. So I'm trying to figure out whether it's going to come down to a new low. And at some point, I'm going to take my partial. Definitely, some more buyers came in. So we, we could have seen the balance shifts a little bit. And this area here, is an area of concern so so now but now it's coming down again but look at the number of buyers 100 almost 100,000 buying shares and now it came down but they're still coming back you can see that the buyers are still coming back 30,000 on the buying side which is again more than the side of the sellers so I'm expecting it to move up if it moves up even just two cents now I'm going to take my partial earlier it just happened too quickly right now I'm watching it and if it's going to pop up again watch the buyers watch the sellers watch it now again number of sales still high but now I think we've got more and more buyers I'm getting ready to take my partial 20,000 shares on the buying side just moved up two cents and I took my partial here just two cents up a little bit of a concern that is going to move higher and that's it out. I'm, I'm, I'm out I'm, I'm just leaving 1,000 shares and hoping for a continued move I'm actually going to leave it for tomorrow because of the daily chart but that's again another lesson that we're going to talk about some other time so what did we learn today we learned today it is extremely important to watch the chart of course but also very important sometimes much more important to watch the market depths now if you watch the market depths and you know exactly how many buyers and how many sellers are at every level we just talked about the level one we just talked about the buyers and the sellers but you need to notice that there are more levels there which you can watch and actually i could set up my platform in a way that it doesn't really just shows the number of buyers and the number of sellers at each level it can show how many buyers are at each level so if we have sellers or let's say sellers at 830 I could see how many sellers are there I just prefer not to show you that I just prefer that we're going to concentrate today we're going to do another lesson about that we're going to concentrate today only on the quantity of the shares but it's also a concern of how many buyers or how many sellers are out there because again if you have just one buyer or one seller it's a different picture as if you had plenty and of course again the quantity is very important we also learned that we need to watch both the market depth the quantity of the shares at any point but also the time and sell was this uh, a data that could be uh, relied upon uh, is this true that there were 300,000 
um, shares to buy at 850. No, it was not. We couldn't see the data. We couldn't see the, 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 on the execution side, on the time and say, we couldn't see the, any executions, which means somebody was just bluffing. So if somebody is bluffing, there aren't really so many buyers. So it's supposed to come down. If a seller, on the other hand, is showing quantity for a second and is disappearing like the 45,000 shares we've seen earlier, that's another clue that somebody doesn't want you to see that he's about to sell a large quantity. And again, everything is important. There's a lot of things that you can figure out yourself. It's quite simple, really. But you need to watch. You need to watch all of them. And I know some traders just don't use it. It's impossible. I can't figure out why and how is it in any way possible to become a profitable trader without watching this data? It's just impossible. You need to get used to it. You need to watch it at all times and just practice, practice, practice. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like it, please give me a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel right over here. There's plenty of links below. One of them is for the demo of this Colmex platform that I'm personally using, which I believe is one of the world's best platform. One more link below is for my trading room. All my trades are called live every day in my trading room and you're very welcome to join. There's a 14 day free trial right here below. It does not require a credit card or anything. Just click on the trial and join me and trade with me live each and every day. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please remember Trading is extremely hard. Most traders lose money. Start with a demo account. Never ever trade a real live account before you have some experience. Thank you again. See you in my next video.